Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 32. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Reading Ready Player One was like experiencing almost all of the best things in life. I say almost because there's nothing about being a dad or a husband in there, but there's a lot to offer. Reading the book was like playing all of my favorite video games, hanging out with close friends, falling in love, going on risky adventures, facing odds that seem impossible, and so much more. Did I mention the book is jam-packed with classic 80s pop culture, especially having to do with video games? Yeah, as many dudes my age and a bit older, I'm sure, have said, it seems like this book was written for me. This book has stuff about just about every geeky thing I love. In an interview, I heard Ernest Cline say something like, I think this is the geekiest book ever written. This is the most fun I've ever had reading a book, and one of my favorite things to do in the entire world is read a book. So, it was kind of amazing. I'm also a writer of fiction, so I really appreciated the fantastic story told in this novel. I couldn't read this thing fast enough, and yet I wanted to savor every chapter and didn't want it to end. The characters were fleshed out so well, they reached out of the page, or in my case, out of my earphones, and into my head where they lived and breathed. I was rooting for them the whole time, and was so excited for them when they went up against the bad guys. There are so many cool adventures that are so awesome for so many reasons. Many of them are like quests in video games you have loved. If you're a gamer, you will be putting down the controller and using your well-practiced fast fingers to turn the pages instead of mashing buttons. This book was so many things, it's kind of hard to sum up all of them and say why the book was such a pleasure to read. The villain was excellent as well, a dude you just loved to hate. All of the characters were very believable and very much their own person that I felt I just happened to be reading about. I read this book by listening to the audiobook. It's how I pretty much do all of my reading because I have two hours of commuting a day, and I simply love audiobooks. Will Wheaton is the narrator for this book, and he's the perfect man for the job. You can really tell he's as excited as you and the characters are about all the cool stuff going on and cool retro gaming stuff you're geeking out about. You can tell it's a book that he absolutely loves, and his enthusiasm comes out so well, and really makes the audiobook a fantastic listen. If this audiobook were a game, Will Wheaton would get the high score as narrator. One last thing that I think is easy to glance over, because Ernest does it so well. The world of this book is at times so amorphous that I could imagine clearly writing what was going on would be immensely difficult. Klein pulls it off seamlessly. You have your character, who's usually in an artificial world, and then many times playing an old-school game inside of that world, so you're reading about a character playing or sometimes being inside a game within a game. It's a bit Inception, but so much more fun. And that's what I'd like to sum up this review with. This book is fun. Ridiculously fun. It's also an amazing story. I wonder just how many times I'm going to reread this one. Probably as many times as Wade has read Anorak's Almanac. If you read or listen to the book, you'll know what I'm talking about. Let me tell you something else. If you are a listener of Dan Dan the Art Man's book reviews, this podcast, 
that you're listening to right now. So guess what? I know you are a listener. Audible has something for you. A free audiobook. Just for trying Audible for 30 days, you get a free 30-day trial. You get a free audiobook. Just go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews for your free audiobook. Let me recommend to you Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, narrated by Will Wheaton. But you can get one audiobook for free, and it can be any audiobook of your choice. It doesn't have to be Ready Player One. But I'm telling you the complete truth when I tell you that Ready Player One was the funnest book I've ever read. I won't say that it's my absolute favorite book, or it's the very best book I've ever read, but it is the funnest time I've ever had while reading, if that makes any kind of sense. It's the funnest book I've ever read. So, that's my recommendation. Go grab it for free. Now, let's get back to that review. Okay, so, man... (laughs) Man, did I have a blast reading it. Uh, I would read it again at the drop of a hat and have just as fun of a time reading it because as I'm looking back, there was just so much in the story. Like there were so many adventures he went on, so many cool little quests that the main character had to do in this virtual world. Oh, it's so awesome. If you don't know, this kind of the story behind it is that um, the time that this story takes place A lot of people kind of don't live their lives like we do. They pretty much are just always plugged into this internet, which is kind of like a game world. It's a 3D environment. It's a virtual reality. And so everyone's pretty much always just living with their virtual reality goggles on and haptic gloves that they can use to interact with things in this virtual reality. Like, the main character goes to school virtually, so it's like in a 3D environment school, and he can explore the world outside that school and all over the place. And a chat room with his friends is like an actual 3D environment that they designed that has like old school video game consoles you can play, and it's pretty awesome. Totally interactive 3D environment. And the journey that this guy goes through. Okay, so, oh, okay, so the guy who created this virtual reality that like everyone uses dies. And he says, I'm giving all of my money to whoever can win this contest and find all of these Easter eggs I've left in my game. So you go on this epic quest to find all these cool Easter eggs that the main character use, he uses his knowledge of the creator's love for retro stuff like 80s pop culture and video games to succeed on these quests or try to. I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> yeah. So, oh man. A lot of friends have read it and they all thought it was a great time too and loved it and loved the references to 80s pop culture um because a lot of i'm in my early 30s and so anyone in their 30s or even 40s would just be like wow all of these references are like just totally reminding me of my childhood (laughs) which is just awesome it's like it feels like it was written for you especially if you're like me and you played video games growing up and loved movies like back to the future and star wars and you know so anyway I loved this book. You're going to love it, too. That's about all I got for you guys. I uh, cannot recommend this enough. If you want to have an absolute blast reading, read Ready Player One. That's all I got to say. Um, I'm not sure what book I'm going to review, but uh, it'll be an adventure to click play and hear what it is going to be next week. So, thank you guys so much for listening. And I will let Mike tell you where you can find me if you want to hit me up and tell me what book I should review next. One last plug I'll say is that one of my very favorite authors, Nathan Lowell, just put out a book called In Ashes Born. 
I found out about him through patiobooks.com, which is a place where you can get free audiobooks, usually narrated by the author. Nathan is a phenomenal narrator who is also a phenomenal storyteller, and he has an awesome science fiction series called The Trader's Tales. It starts with a book called Quarter Share, where you get to go on an adventure with a kid who ends up on a spaceship and kind of works his way from quarter share, which is a share of the profits that the ship makes. He's a quarter share. Then the next book is half share and full share and captain's share and it just goes owner's share. It just keeps going on up. And oh man, these books are awesome. They are addictive. So everyone absolutely loved these books. When the last, when the sixth book in the series came out, it actually crashed the site of Patio Books because it was getting so many requests to download that book. That just shows you how popular the book is. They're fantastic. They're phenomenal. They're a kind of story that I really like. Um, this book is kind of like... What if you lived in the distant future where space travel existed? What would life be like for someone like me? That's what it's like. Um, it's very realistic. The author spent time in the Navy and just the lifestyle that they get on a ship with the different watches, like their different shifts, you could say. I don't know, it's just, um, it's so much fun to read the story of Ishmael. That's the main character's name and the friends he makes and the adventures that he goes on uh, through space. Fantastic. I'm sure you, a lot of you guys may have heard of Nathan Lowell and he just released a seventh book in the series. No one really knew for a while if there was gonna be more Ishmael. I think he always said that there would be, but we didn't know when it would happen. Well, it's happened. You can go to amazon.com right now, search for In Ashes Born by Nathan Lowell and you will find the latest book. So, go get it. If you haven't, go to patiobooks.com, listen to the very first episode of Quarter Share, and I guarantee you that before you listen to the next episode of this podcast, you probably will have already finished the book and listened to like the next two or something, because they're fantastic, and as soon as you even just listen to that first episode, you're hooked, you just wanna listen all the way through. They're awesome. Um, they are easily some of my favorite books, and they also happen to be free audiobooks. So you have no excuses. You don't have to go buy six books. You can go download them for free from patiobooks.com. Listen to them on, on your commute. Before long, you're going to be finding excuses of things to do while you can listen to an audiobook. <laughs> Seriously, uh, he's an awesome writer. I love his stories for what they are. But he also happens to be a superb narrator. His voice lends itself so well to storytelling. He's just so good at like sounding like a friend sitting across the bar from you telling you a great story. He's not reading you the story, he's telling it to you. And it's fantastic and it's amazing. So, all that to say, I've got a lot of gushing to do in this episode. Ready Player One, the funnest book I've ever read. You can get it for free at Audible. For trying out Audible services with a 30-day free trial membership, just go to audibletrial.com slash dansbookreviews for your free audiobook, and patiobooks.com, search for Quarter Share to start your Trader's Tale adventures with Nathan Lowell. Six free audiobooks for you right there. Then, go buy In Ashes Born, his latest, at Amazon and then leave a review. And then post your sponge number on Twitter with the hashtag InAshesBorn. You'll have to read the book to find out what that's about. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for sticking with me on this little bit of a longer episode. It's probably um, shorter than most podcasts you listen to, but for me, this is a bit of a longer one, so... Thank you guys so much for listening. I'm so happy to have you here with me in your car, at the gym, out in your yard doing yard work, or wherever you may be laying in bed. Thanks for listening and have a great one. And we'll see you next week. Mike, take it away.
This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.